In 48 BC, seven weeks after his forces were crushed by his rival Julius Caesar at the Battle of Pharsalus in Greece, Roman general and politician Pompey the Great is assassinated by King Ptolemy XIII of Egypt, who is locked in a power struggle with his sister Cleopatra VII and is hoping to curry favor with Caesar. In 1542, nearly three months after setting sail from the port of Navidad, Mexico, Spanish explorer Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo sails into San Diego Bay, becoming the first European to reach what is now the U.S. West Coast. Cabrillo National Monument is established in 1913 to commemorate his voyage. In 1918, during World War I, decorated British soldier Henry Tandy chooses not to shoot a wounded German soldier he encounters in no man's land, sparing his life. Twenty years later, it is discovered that the man he spared was likely a 29-year-old Adolf Hitler. In 1941, Ted Williams becomes the last player in Major League Baseball history to hit 400 when he finishes the season with a 406 batting average. He leaves baseball for three seasons from 1943 to 1945 to serve as a naval aviator in World War II, and later for parts of two more seasons to serve in the Korean War from 1952 to 1953. In 1989, Ferdinand Marcos, former president of the Philippines, dies in exile in Hawaii three years after being forced out of power from the country he had ruled beginning in 1965. His son Bongbong Marcos is elected president of the Philippines in 2022. In 2015, NASA scientists announced the discovery that liquid water flows on Mars. Photographs taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter show cliffs and steep walls of valleys and craters streaked with long, dark stains from the summertime flows. Up next is the answer to yesterday's quiz. In 2021, the Obama Presidential Center breaks ground in Chicago, Illinois and is currently set to open in 2026. The first presidential library was created for Franklin Roosevelt, with all modern presidents, beginning with Roosevelt's predecessor, Herbert Hoover, having libraries established after leaving office that are operated by the National Archives and Records Administration. And now, it's time for our Today in History quiz. In 1982, Bottles of which over-the-counter medication were tainted with cyanide, leading to seven Chicago-area deaths. Tylenol, Benadryl, Advil, or NyQuil? Think you know the answer? Drop your guesses in the comments below. Find out if you're right tomorrow on Today in History. <laughs>